we'll be using Inkscape as the software that we can create from bitmaps and GIFs and TIFF files, uh, edge curves as scalable vector graphics or a DFX for Fusion or any other software as Mastercam, Corel, anything you can use Illustrator in that area. I want you to do a Google search for Inkscape download for Windows 10, select on that and load it. Okay, now let's get started with setting up a graphic that we want to use to trace. We'll use Google, Google search again. I'm going to choose a Chevy logo that's black and white and it it's a lot easier to work with the black and white. You can choose color, but I'm going to go with black and white here. I'm going to do my search. I'm going to choose the image is and I'm going to come down and see what I can find and I'll look down look at all these cars these are great looking vehicles I'm going to use this one right here this white Chevy clip art and from here you can see it in the image here I can choose any one of these but all I need to do is once I find it here right button mouse click and save image as choose where I want to put it save it and I'll say no to that right now because I already got it downloaded, but that's as simple as you have to do on that. Choose an image and we'll work with that. Now you can start your Inkscape and your Inkscape will have a, a little image like this. Mine's posted down here at the bottom. You fire up Inkscape. It'll come up. First thing I like to do for myself, it doesn't need to be done. Um, I think a lot of times it's probably better to stay in, in its defaults, but I use different softwares. But I like to go to Document Properties. And in Document Properties, I just go ahead and Display Units. I like to see them in inches. The units for the custom size is inches. And I can use an 8.5 by 11. It doesn't matter the size. I'm just using that as an example. And my scale factor here will be set to 1. I go ahead and close that. And then the next step is I want to get my image. Now there's two ways you can get your image. I like to do uh, open, find out where I stored it, my image, go to the image, and you can see my image is right here on the screen. I'm going to take it and drag it in here. It will ask to embed, just take the defaults. And it comes right in exactly what I want. Okay. Now size can be adjusted here if you wish, if you want to do that, but that's a lot more information. I just want to convert this to a plain SVG or DXF, and you can see how a bitmap is real rough in that area. Now that we can establish that it's a bitmap, let's go to the next step where we learn to convert it. Now, converting is very important. If it's not selected, you won't get the information you want. You must select your image. Once you select your image, you can choose path, trace bitmap. That's one way of getting to it. You can select shift alt B or you can right button mouse click on it and trace bitmap. If you don't see any of that, it's because it's not selected. Once you do that, a new dialog box will appear in this area. And all you have to do is update the dialog box. And I take the defaults. You can change the colors. I'm not going to go into that. But once you see the image, you can see how the bitmap's rough. But watch what we do when we trace this. We'll just hit OK. You don't know what happens until you hit the X here. And I can grab this and separate these two now. If I zoom in on this, you can see how clean the lines are here compared to the bitmap. It's real grainy, but this is real sharp edges. So I like to come back here and select the bitmap and delete it and just take this out. Just have this image what I want to import into my drawing. So from here, from here, I will go to File, Save As, make sure I expand the Save As type to plain SVG or DXF. You choose what you want to use. A lot of people choose what they want. I can use an S SVG in Fusion or DXF. I'm going to go ahead with the plain SVG. Save it, the same name, Chevy 1957 Bel Air, and hit save. And I'll, I won't replace this one because I already did it. 